third time's the charm. <laughs> um, anyways, um, I hope all of you guys are having a great weekend. Um, welcome to another Slipper Sunday. Um, for me, uh, right now, it is actually Saturday evening. Um, but anyways, if you guys are new to Slipper Sunday or new to the channel, Slipper Sunday is a series of videos that I created um, where I will show you guys um, either slippers that I have finished or the progress that I'm, I've made since the previous video on the slippers that you guys voted on. So basically how it works is I'll drop a poll in my community tab and you guys vote on which pattern it is that you guys want to see. I'll work it up and each week I either show you the final product or show you the progress I've made. Now the last one that was voted on um, that the majority of you guys wanted to see was the llama slippers. Um, and these all of these slippers um, uh, thus far in the series come out of a book called the uh, called crochet animal slippers by Ira Rott which is available on Amazon and I will link it down in the description box below if anybody is interested um, I'm not affiliated or anything like that I just really like the book and I thought you guys might like it too um, but thus far all of the patterns that I've shown or done are from this particular book maybe later down the road I'll get a new a new slipper book or, or a different one or find some patterns online or whatever and continue the series but let's see if you're new there that's way in the future anyways so the llama the, the llama slippers are the ones that were voted on and those are the ones that I've been working up um, the last I don't know, two weeks maybe? Um, I finally finished them today. And here's one of them. I did the boot style slippers. Um, the book gives you instructions, gives you instructions on how to do shoe style slippers, um, boot style, which is what this is, um, and slider style slippers. Um, I have done a pair of the slider style slippers in one of my previous Slipper Sunday videos. I didn't really care for that style. Um, I do really like this style though. Um, and I think the next pair I work up, I'm going to go ahead and try the shoe style slipper. Um, so here's the finished product. This one I, I put a toilet paper roll in so you guys could see it like from the side if it were being worn um and then there's a second one and this is you know it, it doesn't got didn't have anything in it so it's doesn't really have a whole lot of shape but um this is what they look like um they are a hundred percent acrylic um and then i use cotton embroidery thread to sew the button eyes on and actually, this is Red Heart Super Saver. I don't know what yarn this is because it was actually just um, a ball of scrap yarn that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think they turned out pretty cute. Um, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Um, I... Uh, I have tons and tons of jars of buttons because the thrift store that I go to, when they come across um, clothes that can't be sold or resold, in, uh, you know, they'll go through and they'll cut the buttons off. And whenever they get a full jar of buttons, they will sell the jar of buttons and then discard the clothes that can't be sold or whatever. And so, over the course of like four years, I have collected lots and lots of jars of buttons. Um, and they're, they're about the size of a mason jar. Probably about that, you know, like a mason jar type uh, jar. Uh, yeah, jar <laughs> of, of buttons. And I, I have a ton of them. And I just grabbed one randomly that looked like it had black buttons in it. Um... And I dug around in there until I found four of these buttons and did not realize that they are actually a dark navy blue color that is surprisingly showing up fairly well on the camera. Um, they are also 
there, and I thought this was kind of a nice little thing. They're also thicker on the outside than they are on the inside, and I went ahead and I sewed them on the first set of slippers and then realized that one side was thicker than the other. And then when I did the second slipper, I had to make sure that I sewed the buttons in such a way that they matched so that the thicker side of the button was on the outside and the thinner side was on the inside. But I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you know, they're supposed to have black eyes, um, but then again, you know, the llama pattern originally called for a lighter color, like a, like a creamy white color, and these are clearly not creamy white. <laughs> um, but anyways, they've got some blue eyes, some blue button eyes. Um, these are a kid's small, um, and the, the book does give you instructions on how to make them in three different kid sizes as well as three different um, adult sizes. Um, so I think it's like, I don't know, I, I want to say 20 different patterns, but you also get six different sizes in the book and you get three different styles of slippers. So, I mean, doing different combinations, you can get really creative with this book. Um, I really like it. It's, it's a really, really cool book. It's definitely one of the best crochet books that I've gotten. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. And, you know, I know that uh, Ira Rot, they also have um, a book to do animal rugs, which maybe eventually I'll get that as well. Um, if you guys want to check that one out, I'll link it below as well. Um, and, you know, recently I actually came across um, an Etsy shop where she sells, I think it's a she, <laughs> but where, where they sell, um, like, hat patterns and things like that. And some of them actually match some of the slipper patterns that are in the book. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but anyways, aside from all of that... Um, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think because I was thinking about putting these in my Etsy shop as a made-to-order item. Um, the last poll that I did, um, I think the options were moose, fox, triceratops, and koala. Um, triceratops won by a landslide. So that will be the next pair of slippers that you see me working on for Slipper Sunday. Um, and that one does have a hat pattern that matches with it or matches it in the Etsy shop. And so I was thinking about getting that pattern and working it up so that I could have a matching hat to go with the slippers to show you guys as well. Um, I think that would be really fun and really cool. Um, but anyways, for now, I am going to let you guys go. Um, it's, it's Saturday evening, and I just kind of want to chill and watch a movie and work on something where I don't have to focus on a pattern. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. I'm not really sure which, which uh, video that'll be, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.